mode solutions includes three solvers, FDE, EME, and VAR FDTD. The EME solver is suited for simulating bidirectional propagation of guided light where the propagation is mainly along one axis, the x-axis. It takes into account multiple reflection events at interfaces. The propagation sweep tool allows length sweeping in a very efficient manner. Results available from EME include S parameters, field, and index profiles. Example devices include MMIs, spot size converters, Y branches, Bragg waveguides or fibers, and polarization converters. You can find many other devices suited for EME, but it should be noted that EME has some limitations as well. EME is not suitable for simulating devices such as ring resonators, which exhibit steep angle or omnidirectional propagation. It's also generally not suited for simulating propagation in free space, for example, me particle scattering, where FDTD is more suitable. However, if the propagation in free space is mostly bidirectional, as in the edge coupler example, EME works fine. FDE finds modes of waveguides or fibers where the cross-section of the structure does not change along the propagation direction. The EME solver, using the eigenmode expansion method, can be seen as an extension of the FDE solver. FDE simply finds the supported modes of devices with a fixed cross-section, such as a waveguide. The EME solver can simulate devices with a non-uniform cross-section, and it uses the FDE solver to find the supported modes at many cross-sections, then calculates how an arbitrary mode will propagate through the system using the eigenmode expansion method. This method will be covered in more detail in the solver physics section. VAR FDTD is a time domain solver, so you can get broadband results from a single simulation. However, EME is a frequency domain solver, so you will only get results for a single frequency. VAR FDTD is based on collapsing a 3D geometry into a 2D set of effective indices. An assumption of this method is that there is little coupling between different supported slab modes. It works best with waveguides made from planar structures. In contrast, EME does not make such approximations and assumptions so it's suited for planar as well as non-planar structures. While VAR FDTD can handle omnidirectional propagation, EME is limited to bidirectional propagation.